somewhere out there, there's a Shimano fanboy that's gonna say, your reel's supposed to sound like that. The Shimano Twin Power SW, probably my most requested reel review in the past six months. Today we're gonna to be tearing this guy down and finding out is it a slightly watered down version of the Stella SW or is it a slightly beefed up version of the Saragossa SW. At $550 to $650 USD, it better bring a lot to the table. This isn't a typical review for me because I don't personally own this reel and I've only fished it a handful of times. This specific reel is on loan from my boy Aaron who absolutely abused it for the past year about four to five times a week. So it's definitely got plenty of usage. I do, however, have extensive experience with the Shimano Saragossa as well as the Sela SW. So that, those reels sharing 90, 95, 99% of the parts of this reel, I do have a good idea of how it's gonna perform on the water and I can tell you guys exactly what's going on inside. Listen to this. You guys hear that? That is the bearing in the handle has gone bad. I tried like heck yesterday to revive that bearing, but it needs to be replaced. The way this review is gonna work is I'm gonna tear down the reel component by component, talk about what they do, how they compare to the two adjacent reels, the Stella and the Saragossa, and um, I'll explain kind of the nuances of each little piece and how that works. At the end of the review video, I'll kind of tell you guys my final thoughts, where I think it fits in, and who I think should buy what reel. Just one little cap here on this guy, then one screw, a little Phillips head. And you're gonna see a lot of green grease coming out of this reel today. That's because yesterday I tore it down clean and greased it, and I tend to over grease my reels. So you have this handle knob riding along this shaft, and there's two bearings. The Saragossa doesn't have the same setup, and I actually prefer the Saragossa setup because this bearing right here has gone bad. This bearing here sits on the handle shaft and there's no real protection for it from the elements. The salt, salt water kind of gets in here and even though it's a shielded bearing, still has caused it to get very, very loud. It still spins fine, but it's very loud and kind of annoying and definitely not what you want in a premium salt water spinner that's supposed to be sealed off against the elements. There's also another bearing. This one's completely fine. Let's see if it'll pop out for me. Come on, be nice. This one's completely fine and it's ready to go. Realistically, if I was redesigning this handle, I would have a low friction bushing here as opposed to the bearing. The bearing's gonna give you that premium spinning feeling, but I don't like that premium spinning if it's gonna be loud after a couple uh, close encounters with some salt water. I'd much rather have it a slower spin and have it not become loud after abuse. This handle is specific to the Twin Power. You don't see it in the Stella and you don't see it in the Saragossa. However, you do see a very similar knob in some of the cheaper reels. I think like the Sirocco has this, has a very similar knob. And I'll tell you what, this feels, this knob feels like it came off of a Sirocco or a hundred dollar reel. It's kind of a cheap plastic, which I would, I'd hate to see in a $600 reel. I'd much rather this ball, if they're gonna go with the ball design, be an aluminum handle, because an aluminum is gonna feel a lot more premium. Or if they wanted to stick with the ball design on this particular model, just wrap it in the rubber that they put on their egg handles. That would feel a lot better. This just has a very, very cheap feeling to it. Very annoying working on this reel because of how much the torque, how many different size torque sets they have, but it is what it is. This line roller is honestly, to me, the exact same setup as the Stella. It's not 100% the same, but the exact same design. And it shares a lot of similarities with the Saragossa. Bam, so that screw comes out. This reel is covered. All of the screws have plenty of Loctite on them. Very, very tightly fitting. So here we have our line roller all laid out. Rubber seal seated on a metal washer, non-shielded ball bearing, a spacer, the actual line roller with two low friction bushings on the inside, a, another unshielded line roller and another rubber seal seated on a metal washer. And this is pretty much the exact same setup as the Stella and the Saragossa. The Saragossa is just missing one of these ball bearings. It's much more effective than the prior design which had shielded bearings. 
um, and those bearings went out all the time. These rubber seals stop water in its tracks before it can actually get to these bearings. So great overall design. The really only difference between this and the Stella, as far as I can tell, is on the twin power, this piece right here on the bale is actually just a little bit smaller. So I think the whole assembly on the Stella might be a little bit larger, but it's the exact same design. Real quick note here, because I had a few comments on social media and online, and you guys might have noticed it in the thumbnail. This reel is laying line a little bit high, and I'll explain to you guys why that happens. Over time, as drag washers get used and abused and friction takes its toll on them, they start to compress and wear down a little bit. So they become a little bit thinner than they were originally. So as they become a little bit more compressed, the spool starts to sit a little bit lower on the shaft itself. So then by the spool sitting lower, as the rotor rotates, the line ends up sitting higher. That's why Shimano includes the little shims that you can add or subtract to the line roller based on how the line is laying, to the shaft as the line is laying. So this guy just needed a shim, I added it to it. The next time Aaron fishes this reel, it's gonna be ready to go and it's gonna start laying line much more neatly. Shimano is kept with their standard shimming system. So just these plastic shims will adjust your line lay, add, add or subtract based on how the line is laying. And then we get into the rotor here. So this rotor is all aluminum. The Saragossa has a bigger plastic rotor that's actually significantly heavier. That's why this twin power overall is a lighter reel and this has no flex to it. It's very, very strong, so then when fish at extra high drag pressures, there's gonna be little to no flex. I really can't feel any flex in this, and it's a noticeable difference in stiffness when compared to the Saragossa or the Spheros. By having this aluminum rotor, though, you don't need all that much material to make it strong, and you can remove a significant amount of weight. That is why there's this plastic piece right here. It serves no purpose other than just stopping your line from going up underneath your spool when your line is off of the, when, you know, opening coming off of the spool itself. So this little plastic thing's a little bit aesthetic and it has these ports right here to allow water to run out of, but just a couple screws and this bad boy pops off. So it's nice that you can get a little bit of weight savings. I think that these twin powers, um, they're an ounce or two lighter than the Saragossa's in similar sizes. So it's nice to see definitely like a lighter reel when I can get one. Next up we get to sealing around the pinion. This is a very standard cover that Shimano includes on a lot of their reels that covers up the actual nut. This slides off and then we get into a our one of our first rubber seals. So this is a special type of seal that actually is only present on the Stella. Let's see if I can slide them up for you guys. Bam. So this guy slides up, and this is kind of like a hybrid type of rubber seal. So let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it for you guys, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Ooh. So this is a hybrid rubber seal. It's actually seated on what looks like a low friction rubber bushing. So it's gonna extend the seal life of itself and maintain its shape for longer. And this seal is just gonna protect salt water from running down the pinion towards the bearings underneath the inner reverse clutch. So it's one of those first layers of rubber sealing. Very big rotor nut for this size of reel. Should unscrew just like that, and I get it with my hands. Come on, there we go. Definitely don't want to over tighten these. This guy unscrews. And this was actually one of my big disappointments on this reel because this shares a very similar design to the Stella. And for those of you that haven't watched my Saragossa review, you may, you may not know, but the Saragossa had an improvement over the Stella. Then that's then inside the rotor nut, inside, so on the Saragossa, inside these threads, there was actually another seal, which is something that's not on the Stella and it's not here on the Twin Power. So it's, this reel is actually lacking a layer of sealing that the Spheros and the Saragossa both have around the pinion, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoped, especially since this is a 2020 MUN model, that it would have carried that same design, but they essentially carried the exact same design that the Stella did. So here we have a carryover from the Stella, and this is the floating shaft feature, essentially a piece of a low friction bushing that rides along the shaft that just slides right on off. Bam. Then we have another seal here on the rotor itself that gets compressed by that pinion nut or by that, you know, rotor nut and that compresses down. So there's plenty of layers of sealing in here and this is every bit 
sealed as well as the 2019 Stella and as good as the 2014 Saragossa was. But in my opinion, both the Saragossa and the Spiros, the newest models, have superior sealing around the pinion because of that extra little seal inside the runner dot. Now this should slide off. Bam. Here we are. So when water sneaks in between this gap right here, there is basically a labyrinth that the water would have to snake through in order to get to the pinion or get to the bearing around the NR reverse clutch. So that's pretty standard from on Shimano reels these days, but one of the best in the industry, one of the best designs. Here we have the cover for the AR clutch, slides off, same design, exact same part as on the Stella and the Saragossa. Underneath every single screw, there is a little rubber O-ring that compresses down to keep water from getting into the NR reverse clutch through this cover. So nice little touch by Shimano, and that's been standard for the last couple of years with this AR clutch housing. You have this exact same AR clutch on the 2019 Stella, you have it on the 2020 Saragossa, on the Twin Power, and on the Spiros, the exact same part. It was actually a huge disappointment in the 2019 Stella because they kind of nerfed that reel. The 2013 had an all uh, all metal AR clutch that was better attached to the body of the reel, and there was a backup anti reverse in that reel. So. In my opinion, the 2019 Stella was completely jacked from the start. Or we'll slide this bad boy off. Bam. This AR clutch seats very similarly in the Twin Power as it does in the Stella. And there are two little rubber, two little plastic notches that, with a male end that fit into the female end here in the reel itself. Bam should be able to unseat the pinion and the main bearing here slide off the shaft. Same brass pinion that you find in the Stella and the Saragossa. One big bearing on there that spins beautifully. These bearings don't go out like they used to just because of how much Shimano has improved their sealing over the years. But this is the bearing that would worry me in this reel if it was dunked multiple times when compared to a Saragossa just because of the better sealing on the Saragossa. Now, I get to change the head of my screwdriver 12 times to unscrew this bad boy. This has become standard in Shimano's. This is just the rotor brake here. This slides off and then exposes more screws. Bam. And we have another little O-ring here that also comes off. We'll slide this real boot off. And Shimano changed the position of the holes on here to allow water to drain out more effectively. And this is going to expose the bottom of our worm shaft oscillation and kind of how that goes together. And I'll show you guys where that is in a sec. Two more screws here. And this reel shares the same design as a Saragossa and the Spheros when it comes to the hybrid body. So a Stella has a full metal body when this reel has a half plastic, half aluminum. And it's weight saving. This reel actually, at the end of the day, is a little bit lighter than the Stella um in similar sizes only by like half an ounce quarter ounce in most reels but still kind of interesting to see it slides off then we should separate come on be nice to me bam so this all slides off so this half that i'm holding in this hand here this is all plastic you can feel the difference and then the half that has the boot is aluminum so a 600 dollars reel with a hybrid body Structurally sound, more structurally sound than a pen reel that's all aluminum, to tell you guys the truth, just because of how Shimano screws everything together, how the reel seats together very nicely, how these screws have been placed and upgraded the location co compared to the last models. But still, a plastic body on a $600 reel is kind of like, ugh, come on, man. Oh, let's dive into some of these more nuanced components. Again, I cleaned and gre or I greased this reel up yesterday. That's why there's just a ridiculous amount of green grease on the inside. I over grease reels, guys. It's just, it's just what I do. It's the surf angler in me. The Twin Power shares the exact same main gear that the Stella does. So it's Shimano's cold forged gears and it's coated with an aluminum brass coating. So an upgraded coating that you wouldn't get on the Saragossa or the Spheros and supposed to lead to more smooth running when interchanged with this worm oscillation system. So a very nice coating. You don't see any wear on these gears even though Aaron's put so much work into this thing. The gears are still going strong. I really don't see 
anything, no chips in the teeth, anything like that. So it's going strong. Shimano's essentially perfected this. And then this shaft here that the main gear rides along is stainless steel, I believe. So great main gear. Shimano's great at what they do. Honestly, all the real companies these days are making great main gear. So it's cool to see. Last note on the main gear, I believe in the 2015 version of the Twin Power, they did not give you the bronze or marine bronze coating that you get with this Stella in the Twin Power. But now in this upgraded Twin Power, in the 2021 Twin Power, they do give you an upgraded main gear. So that's cool to see actually making this real closer to the Stella than it was. At the handle ports, you have the same upgraded ceiling that you received on the Stella as well as the Saragossa. So it's a perfectly shaped rubber seal that's compressed up against a bearing, oversized bearing, and then shimmed beautifully. So this bearing sits on a piece of, on a metal washer to maintain its, you know, its life and its shape over time. In 2013, the Stellas and Twin Powers and those reels basically just kind of had a flat piece of rubber. So Shimano slowly improved it over time and I greased the heck out of this thing yesterday. So there's grease everywhere and you guys might not be able to appreciate how nicely shaped this thing is to fit inside its home, but just know that it's Shimano's fine tuned this over time and it's a very, very well done design. I'm gonna seat this back in there and uh, wipe my fingers off. Now we get to the oscillation system, which is fairly unique to this reel. Not that worms, worm shafts are a new technology by any means, but the Saragossa, the Spheros, and most of the Shimano lineup is a locomotive oscillation these days, but the Stella and the Twin Power have maintained a worm shaft oscillation. The Stella has a better version of this, and let me explain why. This worm gear, which is a long cylindrical gear with the grooves cut into it, which you guys can see spinning, in the Stella has a bearing at the base and a bearing at the top, and it's shimmed beautifully. There's really no play in it. Additionally, this gear that I was running my finger along, that silver gear, on the twin power, this connects directly to the pinion. Whereas in the Stella, it has there's multiple layers of gear, multiple gears that mesh into that mesh together before reaching the pinion itself. Theoretically, that's going to give you some smoother running and overall a finer feel. I don't know if I feel that, but there's more going on in the Stella and it's shimmed a little bit better. There's tighter tolerances on the Stella, but very similar design. And the reason that worm shafts were popular for the longest time is because it gives you a very neat line lay up and down, very smooth line lay and a very fine, it's something that you can finely tune in order to get your oscillation perfect. Over time, real companies have gotten so good with locomotive oscillations like what's in the Saragossa and what's even in the Daiwa Saltiga, Daiwa's top of the line reel as a locomotive oscillation. And those are much simpler, but due to increases in computer imaging softwares, um, we've actually gotten pretty good at those, but not the exact same oscillation as you would get in the Stella, but close. So the biggest difference that I can feel in this oscillation system vice something like a locomotive oscillation on a Saragossa is breaking inertia when you're first starting to wind. And that's just the force that it takes to start turning of the handle. Saragossa, there's not much. Shimano's are known for being super smooth, but there is a slight difference if I'm holding a twin power in one hand and holding a Saragossa in the other, I can feel a slight difference in the ease at which it takes to break inertia and get the thing going. Small minor things that make no difference in your ability to catch fish, but things that real junkies tweak out on. The pinion, the base of the pinion sits on a bearing which the shaft is seated on here. My finger is pointing to where it is seated and there's also a low friction bushing in there which is part of Shimano's Infinity Drive technology. You see the same thing on the Saragossa, um, nothing new here but in the same tried and true design. And last thing worth noting is this nice rubber seal, rubber gasket that fits nicely into its home around the edge of the reel. You see this all the way down to the Spheros and all of Shimano's reels. One thing I don't know and I'm not sure of, so you guys can comment down below. I don't know if the Twin Power shaft has the same coating that the Stella does. It's supposed to be a low friction coating that leads to smoother running. Not positive what that is or if that's on here and not positive how I would even tell. I think it's supposed to be part of Shimano's floating shaft technology or marketing mumbo jumbo that they use. The shaft feels good, but I don't know if it feels any different than an honest Aragosa. Lastly, let's cover the drag. So this is the exact same top of the line drag setup that you would get in the Shimano Stella. You have a carbon fiber washer in the top in between two metal washers. That is your 
backup or you know um, secondary drag you want to call it and then you have the main drag in the bottom labeled x tough whatever marketing mumbo jumbo they're using today and it's got multiple layers of carbon fiber drag washers and metal drag washers as well as a radiator plate a plate that's supposed to dispel heat out away from the rest of the reel and these reels put out a ridiculous amount of drag more drag than the saragossa and definitely more drag than the spheros um, I'm not going to test it, but it's re realistically in that 40 to 50 pound glass, well more than any angler is going to need in an 8,000 size reel. Basically, Shimano is just flexing at this point. And lastly, there are two ball bearings, one in the top, one in the bottom, for smoother drag running. And the drag cap is the exact same thing as Estella too. This drag cap has Shimano's patented wave spring, which leads to more of a linear drag increase as you tighten down as opposed to an exponential increase like you would get with a standard spring. So as you tighten down, it's not gonna get too tight too fast. It's gonna be a very, very linear increase in drag pressures. So awesome to see those high quality, that, ex that premium drag in you know the non top of the line reel. Okay, now that I got this reel completely apart, I'm gonna put it back together and then give you guys my assessments on comparisons between this the Saragossa and Stella. I'm gonna hit you guys with some rapid fire differences between the Stella and the Twin Power that actually matter to me. So the Stella has a full premium aluminum alloy body where the Twin Power has the hybrid aluminum and plastic body. The Stella has ball bearings around the worm shaft and it also has another set of intermediate gears in between the pinion and the worm shaft. So that just leads to a silenter, sil silenter easier operation that the twin power just doesn't have. Additionally, the worm shaft oscillation in the Stella is shimmed and has finer tolerances than you get in the twin power. Lastly, the twin power is slightly lighter than the Stella. Now I'm talking quarter to half an ounce in most sizes, but that's just due to the lack of the aluminum side plate as well as the couple bearings that the Twin Power doesn't have that the Stella does. Now rapid fire difference between the Twin Power and the Gosa, differences that matter to me. So the Twin Power has the full aluminum rotor where the Saragossa has the heavier, bulkier plastic one. The Twin Power has two ball bearings in the line roller whereas the Saragossa only has one. The Twin Power has a worm oscillation system as opposed to the locomotive oscillation that you find on the Saragossa. And that worm oscillation is a slightly silenter oscillation system as well as braking inertia is slightly easier when compared to the locomotive oscillation of the Saragossa. Twin Power has a much more capable drag, especially when fished at higher drag pressures over 25 to 30 pounds. And lastly, the Twin Power is lighter than the Saragossa by an ounce or two in almost all size classes. That's because of the smaller, more compact aluminum rotor. My own arbitrary ranking of where Shimano's reels have kind of ranked over the years. So in the 2013 Stella, on a zero to 100 scale, I'd be at like a 93. The 14 Gosa, I'd be somewhere around like an 81. And the 15 Twin Power, I'd be somewhere around like an 86 or an 87. So I'd say that um, that 14 or that 15 Twin Power was probably closer to the Gosa than it was to the Stella. 2019 Stella, Shimano, in my opinion, really nerfed this reel, so I actually think it's a worse reel than the 2013 model. I would actually give the 19 Stella like a 90. The 20 Gosa has definitely been improved, and I'd say it's more around like an 85. So significantly improved over the 2014. And that 21 Twin Power, I would honestly put that at almost as good as the Stella, something like an 88. 88. So just a completely arbitrary Ryan Mori ranking of these reels, but I think this reel is very, very close to the Stella and doesn't present many differences that would make me want to buy a Stella over this. And truth be told, guys, I would never want to buy the 19 Stella. So the question at the end of the day, the question that everyone's going to ask, is the Twin Power worth the money? For me, no reels are ever going to be a good value when they're above that $300 mark. I really do believe those $300 reels like the Saragossa and even like the $150 to $200 Spheros are where you find most of your value. And those are going to be the reels that I recommend to anglers 90% of the time. However, I can see a need for this reel. I can see a niche where this reel would fit in. 
honestly, for guys that love a pretty reel, because I haven't said it, but this is the most gorgeous spinning reel on the market right now. I love the look of it, and it, it's just absolutely beautiful. Shimano did an immaculate job with the aesthetics of it. But in terms of fishability, I can see a market for guys that want an aluminum rotor, high drag settings, and they don't want to shell out a thousand bucks for a Stella. For some reason, those guys are anti Daiwa, but <laughs> that's a discussion for another day. Let me know what you guys think. Is the Twin Power reel that you're interested in picking up, or are you going to stick to more of the value type reels, like the Saragosas in the $300 range, the Spiroses in the $150 range, or something else completely? Just let me know down in the comment section below. Remember to download Fishing Clash so you can brag to all your friends that you're a better fisherman than them. I need you guys to do me a huge favor and check out the most expensive, probably best reel that you shouldn't buy, and that's in this video right here, and I'll see y'all over there.